Hi, this is Dale O'Shills, pastor of Church of the Redeemer in Gaithersburg, Maryland. Thank you for joining me for this video devotional time today. So glad that you're a part of it. I want to talk to you today as we've been talking this week about the concept of mercy, the mercy of God. God is merciful. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 5, verse 7, Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Jesus demonstrated all throughout his ministry this, this ability to show mercy, this capacity, this nature of mercifulness or graciousness to people. And he told us to do the same. He said, blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Now the question becomes, how do you and I become more merciful? Let me give you a couple of things that perhaps you can think about today as we're reflecting together on this concept. I think one of the things that helps you become more merciful is to begin to view people from God's perspective. You know, realize that, as God does, that all of us have a past. We all have a set of circumstances and experiences that have, that have affected who we are and what we are today. And so if we're going to help other people with mercy, we have to look at people through God's eyes. We must see them as God sees them. We must see their hurts. We must see their needs. We must also see their potential. We have to look at people from God's perspective and not see where they are, but see where they can be. Not see how bad they are, but how what a good work God can do in their lives. What opportunities are there for God to work and bless them. And I think this perspective changes everything. When you and I view other people the way God views us and treat them the way God treats us, everything changes. And let me also encourage you to remember that when you're thinking about being merciful, remember the, the damaging effect of being uh, unmerciful. When you hold back mercy, when you refuse to show the mercy of God, you actually hurt yourself and you hurt other people. But when you show the mercy of God, you open your life to a harvest of mercy in your own life. He said, Jesus said, blessed are the merciful, for they will obtain mercy. Let me encourage you to think about other people God's way, to view people from God's perspective, to realize that God has been incredibly merciful to you, and so treat other people the way God has treated you.